Live with uh, Jenny Lynn Knopf from the Disney Information Station, The Diz. She's the girl we bring in to uh, talk about all this fun theme park stuff. Uh, Jenny Lynn, first things first, you said this is a, a multi-park sort of push by Disney, but at Epcot is where we're really going to see the influence of Frozen. What will eventually be there? Yeah, okay, so that's what the big announcement was today. They're going to be closing down the Maelstrom attraction, which is in the Norway Pavilion, to make room for a new Frozen attraction. And in that attraction, we're supposed to, the guests are supposed to be immersed, what they're telling us, in uh, their favorite moments and songs from the movie. And then also in the pavilion somewhere, there will be a place where you can meet and greet uh, Anna and Elsa. So uh, that's, that's the main thing going into Epcot. Okay, what about Magic Kingdom? Because that's going to take a little while. They have to build the ride. You said 2016 might be the year before we see that. Yeah. But they're not waiting to uh, introduce these elements in the other parks, which we've seen sort of here and there. Tell us about uh, Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios mm -hmm. events. Okay, well, Anna and Elsa are already in the, already, they're already in the Magic Kingdom to meet and greet there, but we're going to be seeing some more elements coming in for the Christmas season. So, for example, they've told us we should see Queen Elsa making the castle into an ice castle uh, starting around maybe November when they get the Christmas stuff up and going. And then for the Christmas parade that uh, guests see at the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party, we'll be seeing Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, and Olaf in the parade. Oh, how fun. Okay, just to wrap things up because I know Epcot's going to be the big attraction. When can we uh, expect to see first Maelstrom close if people want to get one more ride in there? And uh, around the time of year in 2016 where we'll actually see this frozen ride up and running. Sure. I don't have a confirmed date on when Maelstrom is going to be closed yet. What we're seeing, the rumors are, it should be sometime during the first half of October. But then, as you say, it'll take until 2016 until we see that frozen attraction come in. All right. Well, we look forward to it. We'll bring in when it opens. Jenny Lynn up with the Diz. Thank you. You're welcome.